On camera, Chief Keef is a man of few words. He doesn't open up much during interviews, so his ability to express himself is often limited to what he says on songs. Fortunately, he is very witty and creative with his words. Even music critic David Drake, who's written for Pitchfork and Rolling Stone, says the most underappreciated aspect of Keef's rapping style is his lyrics. And not only that, but his mixtape titles are also good examples of his wordplay. Today we'll look at the five most clever titles by Chief Keef. At number five is the Cozart. The rapper's government name is Keith Cozart, and for this project he put a spin on Lil Wayne's classic album series, The Carter. Fairly simple, but smart nonetheless. Later on in the list, we'll talk about another clever title inspired by Wayne. And coming in at number four is Finally Rollin' 2. It serves as the sequel to Keefe's debut studio album, Finally Rich, which came out in 2012. The year was now 2015, and Keefe let it be known that not only was he rich, but he was rollin' in the dough. Funny enough, Young Chop, the producer who made a lot of the beats on Finally Rich, released his own tape called Finally Rich 2, spelled T-O-O, the same day as Finally Rollin' 2. That actually happened. At number three, we have Autopsy. One of the many nicknames Keefe goes by is Otto, and for this project, he put a spin on the actual word autopsy, which is defined by Merriam-Webster as an examination of a body after death to determine the cause of death. The title also plays into Keefe's mixtape series, Back from the Dead. And at number two, we have Sorry for the Wait, the same title as Lil Wayne's memorable mixtape, just spelled a little bit differently. According to Urban Dictionary, weight is a street term meaning cocaine. And Keefe has often rapped about his younger days selling coke back in Chicago. And for anyone who suspected Keefe just flat out did not know how to spell weight, the rapper put that to rest on his song titled Vet Lungs. He said, sorry for the W-E-I-G-H-T, bitch I know it's W-A-I-T, I'd be. And coming in at number one is a project that never actually dropped, but it's so clever that it's worth mentioning at the top spot. The title is Before the EP, Before B3. Sounds like a tongue twister, but let me break it down. At the time in 2014, Bang 3, also known as B3, was an anticipated Keefe album that himself said would raise the murder rate. But before releasing that, Keefe announced he would release Bang 4, the EP, Before B3. Hence the title, Before the EP, Before B3. It was a brilliant title that went to waste because the project was never actually released. But there is still opportunity for Before the EP after B3, but that's about half as cool. What is your favorite title by Chief Keef? Is it one that's not on this list? Let me know in the comments section and hit subscribe for more videos about Chief Keef.